This series presents information based in part on theory and conjecture. The producer's purpose is to suggest some possible explanations, but not necessarily the only ones, to the mysteries we will examine. These masks, these strange rituals have meaning. They describe precisely the relationship between a remote African tribe and the heavens. This tribe believes all life comes from a distant dark star, invisible to the naked eye. Recently, modern science was able to find this star and confirm its existence. Now we must ask, how did a primitive people, lacking instruments of any kind, discover a dark star hidden deep in space? In central Africa, among fortress-like cliffs on the southern edge of the Sahara Desert, live a people called the Dogon. A thousand years ago, fleeing from warring tribes, the Dogon found refuge here. The Dogon have endured and preserved mysterious ancient knowledge. Knowledge of an invisible star and its movements through the heavens. The hum of the bull roar is believed to be the voice of the sacred star. It calls initiates to a ceremony high in the cliffs. Dating back to a time when the Western world was locked in the Dark Ages, this ritual has taken place year after year. During the ceremony, the full spectrum of Dogon knowledge is revealed and passes from generation to generation. A circle within a circle depicts Saturn and its rings, which can only be seen with a telescope. A large circle and four satellites. The planet Jupiter and its moons. Most remarkable is this symbol. It represents the orbit of the Dogon star, a phenomenon deep in stellar space. Yet, no such orbiting star is visible from the Earth. It was not until this century that Western astronomers began to suspect its existence. A desert tribe called the Dogon, isolated in the African wilderness, may have identified a star invisible to the unaided eye. How is this possible? How could the Dogon possess this sophisticated astronomical information? Approximately 200,000 Dogon live in 300 villages scattered through their land. Throughout most of Africa, the simple melodies of the shepherd's flutes reflect the unchanging pattern of village life. On the surface, there is little to separate the Dogon from countless other tribes. What makes the Dogon different is a unique social harmony maintained by strong tradition. Among these people, murder, theft, and suicide is all but unknown. Greed is rare. Disputes are settled by debate in open forum. A goat has broken down a neighbor's wall and damaged his crops. The farmer demands repayment. The goat's owner insists it is the farmer's fault 
he should have built a better wall. The elders decide that indeed the wall should be stronger, that both men should rebuild it and replant the crop. Millet beer marks the settlement. The Dogon believe in a perfectly ordered existence. They believe they are a part of something much greater than themselves. That each task, however menial, reaffirms their integral connection with the rhythm of the universe. In myths and symbols, the Dogon link the lowly with the lofty, the known with the unknown. All human activity is inscribed from the origin of man to the mystery of death. The spinning and weaving of cotton describes the Dogon myth of creation. Each strand by itself is of little importance, but united by a guiding intelligence, they become an ordered fabric. Planting, harvesting, the winnowing of grain from chaff, each act of Dogon life has a practical and a spiritual value. The study of the Dogon has lured men like Dr. Hans Guggenheim, an anthropologist from Harvard University. He has probed the relationship between the Dogon and their mysterious dark star. In order to discover this mystery, the mystery of Dogon knowledge about the stars, we have to begin by looking at the inside of their granary. Because the Dogon link in their knowledge the science of growing grain and the understanding of the stars. All ancient civilizations have needed knowledge of the heavens for the growing of grain. Just as ancient astronomers studied the positions of the sun, moon, and stars, Amandingi, the elder, climbs to a place among the rocks to observe the sun as it moves along a heelstone. He will determine the exact time when his people must sow the seed that will ensure their survival. This land is normally a desert. The rainy season is short. Planting must begin at precisely the right moment. The harvest which follows must last through the harsh months of drought. Life or death of the tribe depends on the accuracy of observation by men like Amandingi, the Dogon astronomer. As Amandingi studies the heavens, is it possible that he can reach beyond the visible universe? Is it possible that he can sense phenomena deep in space? The Hogan, the high priest of Aru, is the chief of Dogon religious knowledge. Selected more than 30 years ago by signs and prophecies, he lives a prisoner in a small temple compound. The Hogan is adored and provided for by his people, but cannot be touched by man or woman. He is the living repository of all that is known. His isolation from worldly needs and worldly concerns ensures that the sacred knowledge he keeps will remain pure. Should the Hogan be contaminated by human contact, he must be killed. Away from the clamor of village life, in caves and rock shelters, the teachings of the Hogan are renewed. Tribal legend tells us that beings called Numo descended from the sacred star and appeared before the Dogon 